it's Monday, MLK day today. Heading out to the parts house, it's early. I got to uh, pick up a compressor for a beer cooler for a little place in downtown Santa Cruz. And then I got to get a, a little 115 volt, 3,400 watt direct heat little water heater, you know, for a sink, for a women's restroom at a sandwich shop. I got to find that today. And then I don't know if UPS is working, if they're working today. I got a circuit board coming for a Manitowoc ice maker, evaporator fan motor kit for a display case coming as well. So let's see what we can get into today. Sun's coming up. We got a little break in the storms. I think there'll be another storm this week. And let's see if we can make some stuff happen here. All right, we're almost at our destination for our compressor change out. Let's get into it. All right, mega old time beer cooler right here. I got to make a new pan for this too. This thing's done. Look, compressor's dead. I'm gonna get to the evaporator section here because I want to change the cap tube out. Is real simple on these, the old beverage airs. Look at that coil, too. Ooh, mama. So, let's get into this thing. covered and I cut the insulation off and then look what I found on this one so it's 3 8 suction and then somebody went hocus pocus really quarter inch <laughs> no wonder it's dead that's the OEM cap tube this is an old R12 system from back in the day we'll cut this out take a look I know it's plugged but I'm gonna show it to you anyways I'll cut a piece off and put it up to the light. It's totally plugged. Nothing. Just plugged. There it is. Pluggered. solder up there see how clean we can get this one out it up here where I could work on it and I took out both connectors from the condenser coil because the new style compressor has a different body so it's gonna pipe up different we're gonna replace this uh, condenser fan motor too and the compressor this assembly's done let's go scrub this thing make sure you get the ends taped up real good you don't want water in your condenser let's go clean up all this stuff scrub it up dub there's coils in the tub Cap tube I've been using JB TC49. You go on the back and you find your horsepower and you can get your refrigerant. I just sized the 134A up to the one to the R12 ones. Get your third horse R12 fan cooled. Nine feet of Nine feet of TC-49, plus 20 to plus 35 degree evaporator. That's how I size them, and they seem to work okay. Got done with that compressor change out. It got super crowded in there. I couldn't videotape anymore. I'm off to a freezer now. Let's go take a look at this freezer. Get my flashlight. There it is, iced up coil 
hepatitis. See that up there? Coils iced up. Check our defrost timer. And our defrost heater is at 115 volts. Let's check her out. It should be down here. Cycle the time right clock in the defrost. That's my amps. The problem is the compressor is still running at the same time. So the defrost timer is not kicking out our compressor. So the relay is probably stuck here on the time clock. DL429 is the top line is our amps. We are in defrost. That's the plug for the condensing unit on the true. And there's our voltage. So the time clock's not dropping out the refrigeration circuit. See, it'll drop out when we're in uh, refrigeration mode, it'll drop out the defrost heaters. Relay hanging up here on the time clock. It's actually the compressor relay right here in the true compressor relay. That's what was sticking. I just banged on it and then my voltage dropped out. So I gotta replace this relay. I have those on the truck, so let me go get one. Okay, so this is the true relays. That's the new one. Toast. And we're still defrosting. This is my amps, 7.3 amps. I'm going to let it defrost some more, then I'll clean that condenser coil. But yeah, the relays will stick. And that's why the coil was iced up. I was thinking it was the uh, time clock here, but it wasn't. So the time clock is bringing power in here. Off one, you look at the schematic. In the freeze mode, it's sending it to F, and in defrost, it'll send it to 3. And that's what we're doing on that. That's our power in, hot, neutral, defrost termination. Here's the old relay. Right here, um, so the screen you can see the contacts. Um, large fry from, Just good uh, and chewed up. welding themselves together. Okay, that's gonna end it for today. Oh, I had so many calls at 5.15. It's about when I started this morning. All right, you guys. We'll see if I got any good video or not. The sun's going down. Um, like, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.